Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in for this month's episode of Pegasus. I am Dr. Brittany Moore Henderson, Community Outreach Veterinarian here at Mississippi State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. This past week, we welcomed the class of 2021 to the college. The class consists of 95 students from 20 different states and various diverse backgrounds. On June the 23rd, their coding ceremony was held with students received their lab coats, took the veterinary student oath, and received their official Mississippi State cowbells, courtesy of the Mississippi Veterinary Medical Association. As the class of 2021 matriculates into the college, the application process for the class of 2022 has already begun. So joining me today to discuss the admissions to the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program here at the College of Veterinary Medicine is Dr. Richard Myron, Assistant Dean of Admissions and Students Affairs. Thank you for joining me today, Dr. Myron. Thank you for having me, Dr. Henderson. So Dr. Myron, what are the admission requirements for interest into the Mississippi State Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program? Our, our requirements are 79 hours of required coursework, and those include the general education requirements, such as history or social sciences. We also require six hours of mathematics. We require two semesters of biology, a semester of microbiology with the laboratory, we also require two semesters of general chemistry, two semesters of organic chemistry, biochemistry, two courses of physics, and then also what we call 12 hours of upper level science electives. And these would be courses that are junior, senior level courses within the student's major. Okay, Dr. Murray. So what is the criteria in which we use to uh, assess each student for admission into the program? So every school has a different process for evaluating applicants. And here at Mississippi State's College of Veterinary Medicine, we believe in a very holistic application process. So we focus on both academics and non-academic assessments. Uh, academics obviously is based pretty much on the students' uh, academic uh, scores in, while, they're in, uh, while they're in undergraduate school. Uh, but the really important part becomes the non-academic part. Sure. Does the student have experience in veterinary medicine? We think that's very important, that they understand what they're getting into. Does the student um, have opportunities to work with outside people? We look for folks who have good time management, who have interpersonal skills, who uh, can deal with stress. So we look at the whole package. Okay, so, for, so you said that students, we look for um, the academics, non-academics, and then we take in consideration, of course, their interview process. Correct. Um, so looking at, what are we looking for as far as the GRE? The GRE at Mississippi State averages uh, on the new system about a 305 on, on the total score. And that is uh, something different between a lot of schools. We do certainly look at the GRE. Uh, I find that it's not as predictive to academic success within the college, though, as the GPA is. Okay. And what would you say have been the average GPA of the incoming class? This, this uh, past several years, the average GPA has been right around a 3.65, okay. which is pretty much standard for most colleges of veterinary medicine. All righty, Dr. Meyer. Well, let's take a break right there and be back with more in just a moment. What drives you? What pushes you forward? Is it an appetite to be the best or a calling to make a difference? For those of us here at Mississippi State University, it's both. We're designing a future where cutting edge hybrid technology isn't imported from overseas, but exported from our own backyard. We're working toward a day when solutions to energy independence move at zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds and are as simple as charging a phone. A day when fuel economy and environmentally friendly are viewed as less of a compromise and look more like this. For us, turning heads in the auto industry is great, but living up to the hype is even better. That's because it's about more than simply envisioning the future. It's about getting there. And here at Mississippi State, we know just the ride to take. Our world is changing. The way we work, the way we connect, the way we see things around us. At Mississippi State University, we're agents of change, creating our own bright futures, solving real problems, turning challenges into possibilities, 
and lighting the way to a whole new world of emerging markets. Through MSU's new state-of-the-art Center for Entrepreneurship and Outreach, we're collaborating across campus, sharing perspectives and resources of multiple disciplines to power dreams. But we're so much more than dreamers. We've launched hundreds of student-led businesses, earning millions in revenue, and impacting our state's economy in new and creative ways. We're the next generation of business leaders, and we're ready for a changing world. How do we know we're ready? Because we're the ones changing it. Welcome back, everyone. So now we're going to discuss the interview process here for the College of Veterinary Medicine. So Dr. Myron, after the students have applied, um, when is the time in which they will be notified as far as if they're going to get an interview? We'll notify the students about interviews prior to Christmas, and then interviews typically will be held in late January or February. So students that are selected from interviews based on the admissions committee's review of their paper application. Most years we'll interview approximately 630 students for the 95 seats available in the college. Okay, so what advice do you usually give students in which want to make their application stand out? Certainly. Uh, we look for people that are very well-rounded. So obviously the first thing we, they need to do is really concentrate on, uh, on their academic success, and especially in the science courses. Take courses that will benefit them both in veterinary school and afterwards. Also though, we want people that are well-rounded. So we like to see people who have outside employment, who are, assume a leadership position in an organization, people who work with um, uh, jobs where they may have to interact with a diverse group of people. We, we think this is very important and obviously they need to have experience working with a veterinarian so they really do understand what veterinary profession is all about. Okay, so I understand that a lot of students when they apply the first time they don't always get in. So what do you tell students in which you know apply the first time and don't get accepted? Yes, and that's a very important thing that students need to understand is more people are not accepted than are accepted each year. And what we advise them is to contact the admissions office. In this case, it would be contact my office. And what we will do is review their application. We review the comments from the admissions committee and the interview teams, and then find out what the committee suggests were the weaknesses in their application, and then suggest strategies that will help them improve their reapplication. And typically, if people follow through with our advice, they often are very successful in a reapplication. Okay. So what um, would you say that, how is the class broken down? This year's class will have uh, four different pools of students. Of course, we have, a student, uh, we have students from Mississippi. We have students from the contract states of South Carolina and West Virginia. Contract states are those states that do not have veterinary colleges within the state, but help provide financial support to a given number of students from those states. And then the rest of the class is made up of students who are non-residents and non-contracts. So this year we have 40 students from Mississippi. We have five contract students from South Carolina, seven contract students from West Virginia, and then the remainder of the class, 43 students are considered at-large or non-resident students. Okay, so we get students from all over, basically. We do. As you mentioned, we have students from 20-some different states, and we think that makes a very wonderful mix of diversity and, and different interests. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Myron, for sharing that admissions uh, information with us. And I'll also, if you're applying for this year for class of 2022, uh, remember that the de application deadline is September the 15th at midnight, and that's Eastern Time. I highly recommend that if you are applying for this class to definitely get your application in prior to that deadline uh, to make sure that you avoid any type of difficulties with the website. And if you would like more information about our admissions process, please visit our website at www.cvm.msstate.edu. I'd like to thank Dr. Murray again for joining us today, and I would also like to thank you for tuning in as well. If you have questions or comments about today's show, please email me at brittany.henderson at msstate.edu. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you next time here on Pegasus.